Hey y'all, welcome back to Tactical Alliance Gaming and another Raid Shadow Legends video. Yeah, Raid. Mm. Anyway, so in this episode, we're going to go through my top five old school epics that are still worth taking to six star. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we get kicked off here, if you're new, I want to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. That subscribe button down there. Yeah, that thing's your friend. Go ahead and click that, hit that bell notification icon right there. That way you know when we get another video up. Now, let's get right into it. So, the first one is a good old favorite that everybody knows, Royal Guard. All right, now it was tough because of the 21 to 25 dungeons, but... I went with him based on the fact that for tournaments and events, stage 20 dungeons are still the best way to go. And his A2, his takedown, still works. Okay? So, he does have a pretty solid kit across the board, though. He does have a 75% chance when booked of placing a 60% decreased defense for two turns on his A1. And then on his A3... He, he attacks four times at random and each hit 60% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Also has a 60% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 25% when unbooked. With Royal Guard, the big thing you want to book is right here. His A2. That's what you want to get the books into. Okay, right there on his takedown. So, he still hits like a truck. You still use him in late game, farming stage 20 dungeons, etc. All right. So, well, let's move right on along here. The next one, a lot of you is going to believe, is going to agree with this one. And that is good old Stagnite. All right. Now, Stagnite, he's best known right here for his A2. Attacks all enemies, 70% chance to place his 60% decreased defense. And 50% decrease attack for two turns. And his A1, he also does have a 30% decrease speed, uh, which is 30% chance of landing um, on each hit. And it's a two-hitter A1. Okay, I still use him in Fire Knight. Uh, you can still use him all the way up into stage 25 dungeons. You can use him in Doom Tower. You can use him all over the place. Okay, so he is still a solid champion and a very viable option to continue moving up into the later stages of the game all right now the next one you guys have to know this sexy girl is on the list seer is this love that I'm is this the love? her karma burn on her a3 okay it's on a four turn cooldown when booked Everybody knows she yanks all the buffs from allies and enemies, then attacks them all. The damage increases according to the number of removed buffs. Has a 50% chance of placing a sleep debuff on all enemies for one turn. The chance of placing a sleep debuff increases by 5% for each buff removed and inflicts less damage to bosses. Now, the nice thing with, with Seer, you can pair it with somebody like a Brogni who puts a ton of buffs on. Oh, yeah. And she'll tear, she'll tear it up. She'll do some damage. Okay, now she does also have an increased crit rate on all allies for two turns. 30% increased crit rate. And a 25% weekend debuff on all enemies for two turns on her A2, which is still viable throughout. You could build, if you run her, you know, you could build her a little bit, uh, build everybody else a little bit lower crit rate. Put them down to 70%. She pops this A2 off, puts them up at 100. You're freaking good as gold. Her A1, basically, she just hits one enemy one time and has a 15% chance of granting an extra turn. Nothing big, really, on her A1, okay? And she does have a resistance in all battles by 40 uh, on her aura. Um, she does have a decent base speed. I mean, she is a solid, solid champ. Probably the best wave clear in the game overall. Okay, so the next one we're going to move on to, and this one's probably going to stir up some questions. Um... And some comments. But I had to go with Dark Elhain here. Okay. Phenomenal uh, counter for Tormund in the arena. And we're seeing more and more Tormunds, more Crisks. Um, even though they're kind of dropping out of the meta a little bit, 
she is still solid against Torment. Um, I actually use her in Doom Tower against the Scarab Boss in a Destroy set. Um, she's got her passive right here. Fills the champion's turn meter by 25% and instantly activates Death Majesty skill whenever this champion or an ally receives a freeze debuff. Her Death Majesty is her A2. Places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns. Then attacks all enemies. Has a 50% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. And this girl can hit. The crap part, her base defense is super freaking low. And her base speed is slow. Okay, so you do need to do a little bit of work to keep her alive. Uh, but she can hit pretty solid. The next one and the last one, because we're only doing top five. Everybody's got to know this. She's still used all over normal, hard Doom Tower, etc. Doom Priest. Now, Doom Priest is all about her passive. All right, right here. Heals all allies by 7.5% of their HP and removes one random debuff from them at the start of this champion's turn. So if you get her going pretty fast... She can just pull those debuffs, clean those things off. Great, great in clan boss for that passive to clean that cleanse that stuns off. Uh, clean, clean, wow, cleanse the stun off. I right, just make her faster than your stun target or the fastest one on your team. She can clean cleanse all those debuffs off. Um, so solid champion, definitely worth it. Base speed so so at a hundred. Um, for a two. 50% increased attack buff for two turns. Okay, I mean, that's cool if you're going with a big nuke or something like that, but whatever. Uh, and she does have a... <laughs> this one I don't like on her A1. Uh, attacks one enemy. If the hit is critical, places a 15% increased crit rate buff on a random ally for two turns. I don't like the random stuff. Um, it just doesn't... It, it's, it's too hard to predict. You can't predict it, you know? Uh, but she does have uh, uh, force ally speed in all battles by 15%. So that's what we've got right there. That is our top five old school epics still worth taking a six star today in 2021. Agree with the list? Don't agree? Let me know in the comments below. Look forward to reading those. Don't forget, hit that subscribe, hit that bell icon, hit that like button, share the video, do all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time.